Okay, we're with John Hartwell, treasurer for Ned Lamont's campaign. Indeed. All right, now how do you think Ned did tonight? I think Ned did great. A um, little bit slow off the start, but, you know, he hasn't been doing this for 18 years like Lieberman has, so it took him a minute to find his voice. But I thought that when he found his voice, he really nailed it. You know, we're talking about the war, we're talking about health care, we're talking about a lot of issues in this, in this campaign for, for the people of Connecticut, and I thought Ned did a great job. Now, um, do you think that... Joe Lieberman's aggressiveness would be uh, a turnoff to many people who are watching this and want to learn about Ned for the first time? You know, it's hard to say. Um, I was actually a little surprised that Joe came out uh, sort of slashing and burning as he did. And, you know, he's, he's, he likes to, to distort what Ned is all about. He, he tries to paint him into the box as being a single-issue candidate. It's not the case, and, and I think that all of us know that that's not the case. So we'll just have to see how that goes. But, you know, some people tonight said actually they thought that Lieberman looked tired. Some people thought he looked senatorial. Who knows? But I think at the end of the day, Ned looked uh, authentic. And, and that's what we want. We want a guy who really speaks his mind. And, you know, it's not as polished perhaps, but certainly knows where his gut is and, and where his heart is and where the party ought to go. All right. Now, um... In terms of people who are watching this for the first time and, and were looking and seeing Ned for the very first time, do you think they got a good impression of Ned based off of his appearance here? I think they do, but you know these events are always kind of staged and it's kind of hard to get really to the depth of where someone stands on a lot of issues that things sort of get skirted and, and they you know, kind of deal with the surface. And what I would suggest, if someone wants to find out about Ned, they come to the website, netlamont.com, and they take a look at the issues that are there. They watch the videos that are there. Uh, they go to the blogs, and they listen to what other people are saying, and they, they kind of reflect and, and look at the issues in a deep way. And I think they'll find out that, that uh, Senator Lieberman is the most conservative blue state senator of all. It's just, you know, the only guys who are further to the right of Lieberman in the Democratic Party are from Florida and North Dakota and Louisiana and places where the Republicans are in control. Here in Connecticut, where Democrats are controlled, we don't have to put up with that. We don't need a red state senator in a blue state. We need somebody who's going to actually stand up for us, and I think that's Ned. Okay, now, um, where does the campaign go from here? Well, we're in the final month. We've done a lot of ads. We're going to see a lot more coming out. You're going to see a lot of mailings coming out to talk about various issues. But really, at the end of the day, it has to do with people talking to people, turning out the vote, convincing your neighbors this is important, this is something that's worthwhile getting involved in. And so we need everyone to step up, make a contribution if you can. And the contribution necessarily could be money, but it also could be your time, your energy, your passion. We need everybody to get involved. We need to take this over the top because I believe that if we can defeat Senator Lieberman on August 8th in a convincing way, then he really won't join. He won't, he won't run in November because he'll be a defeated candidate and everybody will see that. So I think if we can stop him in August, we, we can put, him much, put an end to it right now. All right, John. Well, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Thank you.